Welcome to Boxy Mods. Uh, it's another bringing you another video on how to um, install your stealth server onto your JTAG chipped Xbox 360. So what we're going to need, going to need the uh, live emulation files. If you click open this, inside the files you'll see everything that you need the XBDM uh, which we're going to put on there to replace the one that I've got on mine in a minute just to make it clean uh, we've got the settings live emulation settings and we've got the launch.ini launch.ini is all the settings that you need plus you've got a live emulation XEX um, file which is actually the stealth server file so what you want to do is you want to open up neighborhood just make that a little bit smaller um, just do it like that <coughs> but what you want to do you want to copy over this one Say yes to all. Then you want to copy over live emulation onto there. Then you want the LE files copied over. You want the launched INI also copied over. Just say yes to all. Um, while we're here if you read this gives you a readme file it just tells you to set the live emulation .xex as plugin 2 set xbdm xex as plugin 1 also make sure that le.ini is on the root of your hard drive which is what we've just done um, so that just gives you a couple of details of what you need to do. Now this is your retail hard drive. This is where all your files should be. Uh, also we've got the extra plugins, which has got the XDRPC, RP, RCP, RC, RPC, JRPC2, and the JRPC settings. What we do, I've already got them on mine, but I'll do a fresh install. We just copy over all those say yes to all so now everything on the hard drive is fresh and all you want to do is you want to you want to um, close this down get rid of this and then I will see you on the Xbox Right, hello. Um, we're back on the Xbox. As you can see, I've um, my cameras. I'm using a different camera because at the minute my recording software is not working very well. But um, <coughs> what seems to happen is a lot of people have issues like me of when they've installed the stealth server but nothing's happening it comes up as fully stuffed but if you go if you go into your home you'll see that I'm signed in but I'm not actually signed in to Xbox Live so what we can do we can go to settings first thing we do is we click on storage hard drive you want to click the Y button to open device options go down to clear system cache don't ever use this one because it will wipe your hard drive completely 
and you'll lose all everything that has been on your hard drive. You want to go down to system cache, click A, maintain storage device. This will perform maintenance on your Xbox 360 device. Press yes, and that will clear the cache. Next thing you want to do is go down to network settings. Network settings is up. Now, uh, do you want to test your Xbox Live connection? Because we've got the stealth server installed. So, if we test this, you can see it's just signed me out. Yeah, it's taking a little bit long. So yeah, it's not gonna find it. There's a problem with your connection. So it's not finding my actual connection. Um, to get around this, you can um, connect your Xbox to the PC. Um, so you get the internet through the PC. So let's try and do that. I'll try and do that now. Right, so that's connected. Now, what should happen is when it reloads, it should load and use the internet through my computer. Because I was currently using Wi Fi, which is, uh, I don't know, it's science. No. So, once you've connected your Xbox. Um, to your computer using an ethernet cable you go across to settings go down to system um, you want network settings wired network test PC connection yes Let's bang my PC. So yes to that. So now it's connected to the PC, okay? Come out of this. Come right out of this. Then you want to go and sign in. Sign in to this one. Okay, so it's just signing me in now. Okay, so now you can see that I'm signed in. <coughs> and that is how you install your staff server. Now, what you can do is um, connect to Xbox Live. And if we go across to settings, system, network, wired network. Test Xbox Live connection. Right. Can't 
Ну. And there you have it. Back online. <coughs> Back on Xbox Live. And now you should be able to go online and play GTA or Call of Duty or whatever one you want. I hope you found this video interesting. Uh, drop a like, subscribe down below for more videos. Um, yeah, that's it. Boxy Mods out. Peace.